Hi, it's Gwyneth here on a fabulous Feel Good Friday. I hope you've had an amazing week. Did you celebrate Valentine's Day yesterday? I know that it's become a little bit commercialized and some people just don't like it, but you know, I think that we are always our best Valentine's because a little bit of self-love never hurt anybody. So this week I want to talk about here on video something I posted on Facebook a a little while ago uh, because I know that you are probably not very active on Facebook. The majority of my clients, they are simply not active on Facebook. If they ever see any of my posts, it's probably purely by chance. So I thought I'd do a video on it as well so that you get the benefit of finding out what you can do to really begin to feel comfortable when you have to talk about yourself. So there are three basic things I want to tell you today. The first is that although you are going to understand your what, what is it that you do well, you also need to understand your why. So the what is probably the passionate, that you know, the passion that you're putting into something, and the why is the purpose. And I say this because people frequently say, I really love doing this, I love doing that, um, but they haven't dug any deeper to find out what it is about that particular activity that they love doing. For example, Here's here's a good one. A lot of the people I work with in international organizations, you know, working in a multicultural team has got to be a part of something that you enjoy. If you don't enjoy working with people from lots of different countries, you probably should not be working with the United Nations, it's as simple as that. So if they say, well, you know, I'm a great uh, communicator, I'm great, uh, have great interpersonal skills. Anybody can say that stuff, you know? So what is behind that. What is it that you really enjoy about working in an international environment? Why do you enjoy working with people from different countries? And if you say, well, I like learning, you know, learning about different cultures, what is it that's important to you about learning from different cultures? Why can that possibly influence you? So, as I said, get your passion and your purpose, get them aligned. Look at the what and the why when you start talking about yourself. Now, when you've got those two things, the second step is to start focusing on two or three of those things that you really, really absolutely love and that you're very, very clear on. If you start talking about lists, if you say, well, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, and you come up with a list of of 10 skills, I'm great at languages, I can work independently as well as in a team, Um, you know, I've great great experience in in project management, I'm very good at drafting and, and writing reports, those are all skills with with nothing behind them. And again, particularly if you're applying for a job, there's good chance that other people are going to be giving the same lists. So choose two or three of the things that you really enjoy doing and match them up to the job vacancy, or if you're pitching to business, to the requirements of the tender of the contract that you're applying to. Focus on them, learn to tell stories about those particular skills, why they're relevant. Put it into context so that the people listening to you can actually understand in, in respect of their situation. For example, if you, uh, if you are a very, very good project manager and you've decided that budgeting and managing others are going to be your two most important things that you want to focus on and then, and then a third, Think about an example when those two um, particular skills were important and talk about them in a way that the people you're talking to can actually relate to. Which brings me on to storytelling. So this is the third part. You need to put that story together and you need to put that story together well in advance. When I talk about storytelling, what I'm actually talking about is having those relevant examples ready. When you go into a networking situation or when you go into a job interview um, situation or when you go into a presentation situation, when you're when you're pitching for something, do not start thinking, oh yeah, that's a good example. Oh, I'm going to say that. That's much better than the example I'd already thought about because you will come across as being unprepared. If you're thinking on your feet, Although it might be very interesting, you are not going to come across as professional, as enthusiastic as you would if you actually stick to what it is that you've already thought about. So there are three things there. First of all, don't confuse passion with purpose. Get clear on both of those things. What you love to do, what is it though about those things that you love to doing? Why do you want to do those things? 
The second thing is to focus on two or three things only, three maximum. Don't provide long lists of skills to people. It's boring and lots of others will do it. You want to stand out. And the third thing is a storytelling concept where you actually provide examples of what it is that you're talking about in such a way that the people you are talking to understand what you're talking about to the extent that they can already imagine you working with them. Now, because it was Valentine's Day yesterday, I'd like to uh, give a gift to the first 10 people who come over to the VIP member vault and sign up for um, an account. It's completely free. Take a look in there. I'm going to be giving you the um, electronic copy of my book, Interviews and Videos which gives you the 10 most commonly asked questions in an interview, also gives you a lot of uh, very, very useful tips and advice and, and tools about how to prepare if you're presenting on video, be that for an interview, be that for a presentation, all sorts. As I say, the first 10 people to come on over into the member vault and create an account, it's completely free, will receive from me a free PDF copy of my book, Interviews and Videos. So that's it for today. I wish you a fabulous Feel Good Friday, an amazing weekend, loads of love and bye for now.